And, of course, there was much for Maradona to do, and for Canidia too, if the damage was to be repaired in the later games. Maradona well to the fore against the Soviet Union in Naples. His clear hand ball not spotted by the referee kept out a certain Soviet goal, and Argentina then went ahead with a fine towering header from Troglio. Cup's most electrifying sight was Kanija in full flight. This run set up a second somewhat untidy goal. The Soviet defense half waiting for the whistle for a free kick here. Not Burachaga though, Argentina victorious. They were not disappointed when five minutes before half time a piercing run by Lakatos ended with an emphatic opening goal. Nine minutes into the second half, Lakatus again. But did Kidiatulin handle inside or outside the penalty area? The Uruguayan referee gave a penalty, but a replay shows that it may have been outside. However, Lakatus ended the debate by planting the ball firmly wide of Dasayev. Romania won 2 0. The time Cameroon were embarrassed and soundly beaten was against the USSR in Bari. 4-0 the score, indeed the only game when the USSR played to their potential. Protosov scoring their opening goal after 20 minutes. Helenikov went round goalkeeper Nkono nine minutes later. The ball rebounding from the crossbar obligingly for Zygmantovic. And that made it 2-0. By now, Cameroon were beginning to fall apart. Witnessed the space early in the second half for Zavarov to add a third goal. And the fourth was not long coming either. A long cross. And Dobrovolsky finds the space between Nakono and the post. However, Cameroon qualified. USSR did not. 